A hockey player requires 90 stitches after suffering a gruesome injury. This is why I think hockey players are the toughest sons of bitches to ever walk the face of this planet. Coming up next on The Sin Bin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt. Welcome to The Sin Bin. I got to apologize for not putting up a lot of videos in the past couple of days. Uh, my stomach's sort of been all over the place. That's why I haven't made a podcast. Um, I've been eating a lot of cheese lately. I, and maybe it's got something to do with that, but I'm not sure. Uh, the cheese. But anyway, that doesn't matter because I am back and I'm ready to talk about this incident that took place yesterday in a game between the Montreal Canadiens and the New York Islanders. Now, let me start by saying I'm not much of a Johnny Boychuk fan. I think he's a very good defenseman. I think he's a good player, but I'm coming from sort of a biased place because I was always a Canadiens fan and growing up, the rivalry between the Boston Bruins, I've never super liked Johnny Boychuk. But with that being said, after seeing what happened to him, my respect for him just went through the roof. In case you guys haven't seen it, I will say viewer discretion is advised because I'm about to show a video uh, in case you guys are pussies or something like that. But it's Lekkonen. Lekkonen skate. It goes up, catches Boychuk and oof, right in the face. Takes a skate right to the face, you know, smack dab down the middle. And it's not like it just grazed him here. It's like someone took an axe to the face. That's what it looks like. You see him here riling in pain. He gets up immediately, has his hand on his face. Uh, we were a little bit concerned his eye might be involved. Uh, the eyes, they always grossed me out. I, I hate to see eye injuries, you know, especially like after I saw Saku Koivu's injury and all that. But anyway... I want to talk a little bit about this injury because I truly do think that out of all of the major sports, and I'll even throw in rugby because I think those guys are tough sons of bitches too. I don't think anyone is as tough as hockey players, okay? I might be coming from, a, you know, a sort of a biased standpoint here because I'll be honest, my pain threshold is very low. Uh, I'm a self-professed pussy. I'll go ahead. I'll admit it. I've never broken a bone. I've had my heart broken, you know, at least once. But I've never broken a bone. I've dislocated my shoulder, never broken a bone. This son of a bitch took a skate right to the face. And what happens after? The GM comes out, Lou Lamorello, you know. By the way, am I turtly enough for the turtle club? That's all I can think of when I see his face. He comes out and he says, Boyne, John Chuck is okay. Fortunately, the skate blade just got his eyelid. Fortunately, it just got his eyelid. Fortunately, it took 90 stitches for a plastic surgeon to fix it. But he'll be fine. Again, what other sport in this universe will you hear someone say, fortunately, he only got his eyelid sliced? Fortunately, he only got 90 stitches. Will that happen in basketball? Absolutely fucking not. What's his name? James LeBron suffers a fucking leg cramp. He needs to be stretched off the ice. And I know what you guys are thinking. Leg cramps, it's debilitating, the lactic acid, the this, the this, and that. I don't care. It's a fucking leg cramp. Do you know how much of a pussy you sound like if you said I quit the game because of a leg cramp? No, you sound like a man if you say, I quit the game because I took a fucking skate blade to the face. All right? Now, uh, I got to say, the reason why I think hockey players are like this, it's sort of because they're engineered to be like that in a way. They're grown up that way. What's the first thing they teach you when you're young? If you get injured, you got to keep going. Don't stay on the ice, you no know, squirming around like a worm. No, you get injured. You get a skate to the face. You get a puck to the face, wherever it may be. Try to get up to the best of your capabilities. I get it. We're human. At some point, you know, we're, we all have our limits. It's not like we can walk on broken bones. Mind you, I've seen it happen in the NHL, Mr. Gregory Campbell. But it's not like we can walk on broken bones. But I think that the best sport, the sport that models it the best, it's hockey. And that's why I've always liked hockey out of all of the other sports. I'll come out and say it. I've never watched a basketball game. I've never watched a football game. I've never watched a baseball game. Whatever sport, water polo, I can't watch because I'm just gravitated to hockey too much. And it's not just because I think it requires a lot of skill. It's not just because I think it's a quick and entertaining game. 
It's because when the players get injured, they get up. They keep on going. And that just inspires confidence. And it makes you want to just get up and carpe fucking diem, seize the day. Do you know what I'm talking about? I mean, I saw this injury and I have hockey practice tonight. First of all, I'm wearing the full shield. That's first of all. But second of all, I'm telling myself, no matter what happens to me, I have no excuse to stay on the ice. Because this motherfucker just took a skate to the face and got up on his own will. Uh, the downside of it, though, is that when I saw the injury, I was sort of reminded of the Richard Zednick situation. I know a lot of my viewers, they might be a little bit younger, but what happened is that Oli Jokinen, who played on the Panthers, he tripped, his skate went up, and uh, it hit his own player, Zednick. It hit him right in the neck, you know, and there was blood all over the place, you know, horrible mess. That was horrible to see, and I was sort of reminded of that, but even with the Zednick situation, how many players would have just stayed there, you know, and waited for the doctors to come? No, he got up, and with his own will, he tried to make it to the bench, and arguably, if you guys remember the storylines, maybe that could have, that w saved his life. That probably saved his life, getting up. What Another thing, what other sport penalizes embellishment. I might be wrong, but does football penalize embellishment? Uh, does basketball penis, penis lies embellishment? I don't know. Hockey, you embellish, you get a fine. So these are sort of reasons that I wanted to get off my chest of why I think that hockey is the best sport in the world, why I think that hockey has the toughest sons of bitches in the world. You know, sure, they're equipped as much as the Michelin man, but the hits that they take, you know, the, the injuries that they succumb, and not only do they ignore it, they keep on playing, they get up right after, it's just totally inspiring for me. So let me know what you guys think of the Johnny Boychuk injury. Hopefully he'll back, be back sooner than later. He's an important piece there of the New York Islanders, and they're trying to make it to the playoffs. So hopefully he'll be back sooner or later. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you like this video, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I cover a whole wide range of hockey content. You know, I talk about a whole lot of things, anything that comes to mind. So if you like it, make sure to subscribe. And without further ado, my name is Matt. Keep your stick on the edge.